Now, you can also be healed by your own faith. Now, this is what we're just talking about. In Matthew chapter 9, you remember the uh, woman came to Jesus, the woman with the issue of blood, and uh, she touched the hem of his garment. And the, the amazing thing about that to me is that he didn't know who touched him. And yet it said that he felt power go out. And so by the time he felt power go out, she was healed completely. Then he turns around to see who did it, didn't know who did it. Then she saw, they said that she saw that she had been more or less found out. And so she told him all the truth and told him what had happened. Now think about that. She didn't even ask. Here he is. He is the, the, the representation of God on the earth. He, he's God's representative. In him is the power of God resident. I mean, in fullness. Amen. And he's walking along and she touches him. And amazingly, he didn't have a word of knowledge at that point to know who touched him. But he turned around and now get this. She didn't ask and he didn't know who did it. Now, that sounds a whole lot like the pool of Bethesda. That whoever got in first, it didn't matter who. God doesn't care who gets healed first. Amen? God doesn't care who you are, what you got, or what you, you know, how you got it, or how long. You got it. He doesn't care. All he wants you to do is be healed. So it's not a matter of, well, are you good enough? Have you suffered enough? Are you, have you learned anything? None of that stuff. It's just a matter of, God wants you healed so well, he is looking for any way he can get it done. I'm going, to, I'm going to show that to you in just a minute. So, uh, but he turned to her and he said, daughter, be of good comfort. Your faith has made you whole. Your faith, right? He didn't, he didn't say his faith. Why? Because he didn't provide faith. He provided the power. Faith will pull power from God. In this case, even if God in the flesh didn't even know where the power went, it still pulled it out. Amen? Now think about that. Faith in God, faith in, because this woman said, if I just touch the hem of his garment, I shall be made whole. Think about that. And then she went and made it happen. And he turned around and said, who touched me? And the disciples said, Lord, what are you talking about? Everybody's touching you. You notice everybody was touching him, but she got healed. Why? Because faith pulled. Everybody, everybody, see, people want to touch you because you're famous. They want to touch you because you're a prophet, because all these things, you know, that uh, I'm talking about Jesus, of course. They're wanting to touch him, but they're not getting anything but a touch. But she touched him by faith and by faith pulled virtue, power out of him. Amen? Amen. And didn't even ask questions. I mean, that's what makes him most. Didn't even ask permission. She just got it. I mean, that's, I mean that's, that's good news. What does that mean? That means you don't have to ask permission. That means you can just pull. Amen? Amen. So. And see, that's what happened. You watch. Any of you that set your faith, and, you, and maybe some of you already have, you, do, you said before you got here that tonight I'm getting my healing. Tonight, I just know tonight is my night. I'm going to get healed. And you, you were saying that maybe within yourself like she did. And maybe you're thinking, well, maybe tonight if he lays hands on me, I'm going to get healed. Well, you've already set the way. You've set the time. You've set the how. Great. That's totally biblical practice. Amen? Amen. And so, and if you've said it that way, then we're going to oblige and God's going to oblige and it's going to work that way. Now, if you haven't already said it that way, let me encourage you to move it back a little bit and get it before I lay hands on you. Amen. Because if you start pulling by faith right now, the power of God will still flow. Amen. 